Hello ladies and gents, welcome back. This is my reaction video about Novak Djokovic's performance against Fuskovic and Denis Shapovalov's performances against Karen Khashanov. Uh, these two matches were in the top section of the draw and I'm gonna make a short video and I'm gonna start with Novak Djokovic of course, this imperial Serbian Guy Novak Djokovic won 6 3, 6 4, 6 4 in straight sets. A victory that demonstrated once again why he's the best player, why he's the most all round player. Because in advance, in my preview, I said maybe Fuskovic will take a set, maybe he will make things difficult, but you have to do that in the first set often. If you don't take the first set from Novak Djokovic, if you don't push him in the fir first set, it's almost li you will most likely end up losing pretty easy against him. And that what's, that's what Fuskovic did in this battle. Like I told you in my preview, I said that he needs Fuskovic needs to adjust his game when he's out of uh, when he's in trouble. He needs to stop hitting those short balls to Novak. He need he needed not to disappear from the match. That's exactly what he did in the first set when Novak was up 5-1, 5-0. And then Fuskovic woke up, broke Novak, took three games. But in the fourth set, they were toe-to-toe -to -toe until 4-4. Then Novak showed what the clutch monster he is. He broke Fuskovic again, sailed away, we won the second set 6-4 and in the third set he got the early break and the match was pretty much over it was in my eyes it was over after the first set I said I said to myself maybe he can challenge him take him to a tie break but if he managed to win the second set maybe he will give Novak a, a little bit more trouble because in this match Novak what what separated these two dudes Beside that, Novak won this match. You can look at the numbers. You can watch the match. Uh, if, if you you can rewatch the match, you can analyze. Maybe you have analyzed during the match. But what did I saw that separated these two guys? First of all, it was Novak Djokovic returns. His first service return was marvelous. He won 43 points, I think, or 44 percent. 43 or 43 percent in Fuskovic's first serve. 42 percent, actually, I think. But that's high number because that means Fuskovic only won 58 percent behind his first serves. He won 53 percent behind his second serve. Novak is a better returner in his opponent's first serve. I witnessed that many times before for his career. He takes the ball so early and really doesn't give the, his opponent uh, that third shot uh, selection that he can dictate or do something creative with the boy. point. Novak pulls the trigger immediately. The second so shot, his uh, first serve's return was amazing. And of course, he kept his serve. His serve was solid, fluid, like it has been the whole through tournament. He won 82% behind his first serve and 44% behind his second serve and did 23 winners and Marton Fuskovic did 24 uh, winners. He did one uh, winners more than Novak and one more uh, unforced errors also. Novak did 30 unforced errors and uh, Fuskovic did 31 uh, unforced errors. So all in all, that they were close. The numbers were close, but look how Novak saved the way in, in, in his own service game. That was a big difference. He won 69% of his service game. And Fuskovic was not even close. Novak landed 66% first serves in. So Novak played clutch. Novak played uh, rock solid. Novak played uh, great from the first point to the last point. Novak really showed why he's the best player. Novak really didn't give Martin any time to breathe, any time to swing, any time to create something that was going to take Novak out of his comfort zone. Novak played strate strategically superbly well in this match. He knew exactly, like I told him in my video yesterday, that he knows how he, what he's going to do and what he's not going to do against Fuskovic. And due to 
Fuskovic consistency level, like I mentioned, this uh, was a one-sided affair. Novak has booked the place in the semi-final, where he's going to play against Denis Shapovalov, who beat Kachanov in a five-set battle. He won 6-3, uh, first set, lost the uh, second set, and first set, 6-3 and 7-5. Woke up on the right side in the fourth set, won 6-1. And they went toe to toe, four four in the fifth deciding set, and then Shapovalov broke Kachanov and served home the match six four. So Shapovalov was clutch in the in in the fourth set where he won 100% by his first serves. His serve uh, level dipped a little bit in the second and the third set, uh, and uh, he won five out of 19 break points uh, opportunities. That number needs to be higher against a player like Novak. Uh, and both of these guys did a lot of unforced errors. I think uh, uh, Dennis did nine unforced errors. He did 17 aces. And totally he won a lot of points behind his first of 86% and 50% behind his um, second serve. Kashanov needed, in my opinion, honest opinion, he, he was a terrible returner on Shapo's second serve. He could... Touch. He could touch his second serve. He could do something creative. He could, he could have put his teeth into his second serve, but he didn't. He only did that in the second and in the, in, in in the third set. So, in my opinion, he should have done more in the Shapo's second serve because he had uh, eight breakpoint opportunities. He took care of three three of them, and his own service number was a little bit much lower than Shapo's. He did 60. He won 61 percent behind his first serves and got a little bit more rewarded on his second serve. 60, he won 67 percent behind his second serve, just because we asked. Like I said before, Shapovalov is a terrible returner. He needs to improve his returns if he's gonna have a chance against Novak. Otherwise, he will. He is doomed. Totally, Shapo did a lot of unforced errors, but he did. He hit many winners also. Like I said, he will. He's an unforced error machine. He tries to go for the trigger too often. And I saw in this match that he w went for the trigger a little bit too much. Then he should have uh, he should have stayed and covered his bases better. He did 59 winners and 48 unforced errors. Khashanov, on the other hand, did for only uh, not only but 31 unforced error, uh, winners is okay numbers. But you, he should have done a little bit more and less unforced errors. He did 50 unforced errors in this match. So... All in all, and uh, Chapo was the better player. He was the more clutch player in this match. He was the player that served better. He was the player that took more advantage of his chances at the right time. That means he was more clutch. Like I said, Shapovalov had his serve. That was this weapon that uh, Hashanov didn't possess. So Shapovalov will go into a semi-final battle against Novak Djokovic and so far the best result of his career. The young Canadian have really stepped forward. He took the chance. Kachanov could have won this battle also if he was uh, play, if he had played better, of course. But like I said, uh, Kachanov didn't uh, take his chances in, in Shapo's uh, second serve. And Shapo served too great in the when when his first serve landed in, so he didn't give uh, Khachanov any opportunities. Like I said, in in the fourth set, Shapo didn't lose a single point in his serve. So, all in all, great by uh, the young Canadian to get past um, Khachanov. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Take care and bye bye.